Hello and welcome to the SML Podcast. This is SML Total Access. I am Primetime000 and with me today, as always, is my trusted co-host, Aziz the Great. What's going on, man? What's going on, Prime? What's happening? SML Total Access back in the building, you know, the best place to listen to the great news that is going on in the sml we got some great stuff for you guys today and uh prime's gonna get it kicked off yeah man i'm fired up this podcast is titled uh in regards to the member of the week we're going to talk about that a little bit later in the podcast but i do want to talk about what's going on in the sml right now in terms of uh playoffs because we're in week 14 and playoffs. yeah playoffs and uh looking at the nfc right off the bat The Eagles are looking really strong. I said last podcast, last week, that Grams and the Cowboys were the best team in the NFC. I'm a man of my word. I'm a straight shooter. I was wrong. I was wrong. The Cowboys are not the best team, and I think the Eagles are. What are you thinking about that in the NFC? I remember remember in that podcast we talked about that, and I also remember some guy said that I would not count out the Eagles and all of this, mm-hmm. and 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 I, I like and as much as I like Grams and I like uh, some of the other teams in the NFC, um, it's two guys in this league, man, that I just don't count out. Uh, it's a couple guys that I don't count out as far as season wise, but as far as making the playoffs and getting in there, there's two guys I don't count out, and that is uh, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah. Uh. So there. So you agree then that Gov last year was a down year for him. This year, he seems uh, more dialed in and maybe something to prove a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, man, anytime you get Gov riled up, especially with our podcast, he, he might say he might not listen as much, but he does. He listens. Mm-hmm. And he, um, he he also watches chat. And he knows what's going on in the, um, in the SML. And as long as he's losing and people are talking about him, uh, Gov will come out and he will prove a point. And... As we all know, you cannot win four championships in this league without being a certain top tier player. And Gov is that top. He's the top of the tier, in, in as far as players are concerned. I cannot name a player better than Prime, other than Gov. Yeah, um, I agree with that. Um, yes. Gov, Gov is a great player. Also, looking at the NFC, there's a team that is not getting much traction in terms of hype. But he's just winning games, and that's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Noel Overlord. 9-2-1. and one. His quality wins are over the Chicago Bears. He also beat the Colts and uh, the Vikings. But uh, he hasn't had a whole lot of uh, more quality wins other than those games. Uh, he lost to Mike FML, and he uh, he tied Pauly. Uh, that's something to take into consideration. He lost a sim yes. game as well. So is no overlord legit? Are we disrespecting this man by not talking about him? I'm I'm gonna um, I mean this, this might be swinging a little bit off uh, kilter here, but uh, Noel Overlord and uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I think those are two of the most underrated players um, in this league. I know the, I know Jacksonville is in the AFC, but my point is, is that I played both of these guys a, a few times now already. I played uh, Noel, Noel Overlord more than once. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, more than a few times because he's in my division. And what I've noticed about both of these players is they have that it factor when it comes to passing the ball. They don't get rattled. Neither one of these guys, they both are very similar players to the point to where they don't get rattled. If you look at the Jaguars' numbers, I think he's leading in passing, and um, his, one of his guys is leading in receiving or whatever. But it's not just because he's he's force-feeding uh, <clears throat> anybody, because I play him, and I'll have everybody covered. I got this guy, even got the second guy covered. He doesn't panic. He mm-hmm. stands out, he gets in the open spots in the pocket to where he has coverage, and he eventually makes the right throw. And uh, Noel does very much the uh, very much similar things with his offense. So there you go. Um, and then finally, the last team I want to talk about the NFC is the Washington Redskins. This is a team that switched from the primer. Polly calls him the primer goat. Uh, his name is <laughs> Sunday. Uh, he is eight and five, just looking out on the NFC. But he's beat some quality teams already. Is this a team that? If they make the playoffs, could make a run at this whole thing. Yes, <clears throat> yes, 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 and yes. Uh, <laughs> Sunday was a primer goat. Uh, well, 
you know, if, if we're being at all honest, I mean, uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers guy that left, he was the guy that had won everything in the primer before he eventually left. But after he left and he had played uh, Sunday in the Super Bowl the year before that, and um, Sunday has been, I mean, as far as I can tell, and I played him a couple of times, one of the best players that ever came out of the primer. Mm-hmm. That's why I put uh, his game and um, and uh, Conk's game as you know, you know, the, the primer, the best of the primer showdown. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> because that would have been a great game to see. These are two guys that came out of primer that are doing excellent. But Sunday's a, he, he's a great player, man. And um, with the Washington Redskins, and I'm sure Game Pad didn't totally screw that team up. So um, he already has kind of like a built-in squad. So. Guys, look out for this guy. If he makes the playoffs, watch him. He could very well move very deep into the playoffs and or even win one. Yep. Uh, and now moving on to the AFC real quick, we got just a few teams we want to touch on here. Yes. Uh, Jaguars playing well. But really I'm looking at the Patriots 8-4, and four, the Browns 9-4, and four, and the Colts are 6-6. Six and six. The Colts have moved from the 12th seed all the way up to the 7th seed, uh, two games out of the playoffs. Uh, are one of those teams going to slip up, and are the Colts going to make this thing two games back? Yeah, um, the, the way I see it is, um, and from what I've seen from Jacksonville this year, um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to exclude him from this conversation. I think he's going to definitely be there, but the question is going to be: is who's going to let Prime in? Will it be the New England Patriots or will it be <laughs> the Cleveland Browns? I saw in chat the other day. Uh, uh, QB was talking about that uh, Cleveland and uh, where Woods and his and and himself is are the gatekeepers mm-hmm. for keeping you out of the playoffs. And um, if I'm being honest, and like I said before, two greatest players in this league, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to keep him out. If Prime wins out, he's going to probably be probably be in, and that means uh, Woods can't really lose another game. Um, uh, no. Uh, the Patriots QB, he probably can't lose another game, maybe one or two, and uh, then and if they do that, they're in trouble. Yeah, uh, I, I like the analogy that he used in terms of the gatekeeper because if your gate opens up, you're letting out a freaking beast. You're letting out a sleeping giant, and you know it. So I like that because I'm rattling that cage. Goat. I'm, I'm rattling that cage right now. And, uh, I, I think the SML, the AFC, will be like, what just happened? And oh no, because uh, how did how do we let that happen? Uh, yes, and, and if you if you do do this and you do get into the um, playoffs and happen to win the Super Bowl again. You think this would be one of your greatest accomplishments? I think it will be because I was like dead to rights. And beyond yeah. beyond that, um, I would have had to have won seven in a row to make the playoffs. And we would have had to got some luck with some guys losing. And then you got to think, I have to win three wild card or three playoff games just to get to the Super Bowl. So yes. that, that would be, in theory, winning 11 one, straight games. Wow. So Hey, let's see it. If anybody can do it, the GOAT can do it. So, but – one loss and it's over with. Yep. So that's what I like, though. Uh, the pressure, uh, uh, what pressure out of rocks make diamonds or something. I don't know how the saying goes, yes. but yeah, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's coal technically, yeah. carbon. So yeah, well, that's too smart for us. That's for the that's for nerdgasm. That's not for our. <laughs> that's a nerdgasm. <laughs> so uh, switching hey, you got gears. Got smart guy on this show too. Yes, yes, many I'll smart men here. So uh, <laughs> who should be on the cover of Madden Twenty One? Um, obviously, we're kind of in the off season now for football drafts coming up. Is there yes. anybody who you want to see on the cover for Madden Twenty One, or do you care? Yes, I, th- I think it's I think it's an obvious choice with uh, Pat Mahomes and uh, Lamar Jackson. But I, I mean, I think we all know that it's going to be Lamar. I yeah. mean, we had Pat this year, and um, then again, they might just do you know the alternate cover thing like they did before and have one with all the new QBs. You know, yeah. have Lamar, have uh, Mahomes, have Watts and yeah. you know and, and and just kind of switch it up with some of the new guys. I just think Lamar is just too mad and coverish, you know, just the type of season he had where it's electrifying. That's the type of guy they're looking for to put on the cover. Yes, and yes, yes. Um, it seems like with the superstar abilities, his play style kind of fl- fits the bill there. Um, yeah, he's the definition of an X factor. So yeah, exactly. So uh, <laughs> Man Twenty One, we're talking PS Five a little bit. I seen something interesting. 
uh, the controllers are saying there's a patent fi patent filed by Sony where the controllers can charge wirelessly, and if you set them on top of your PS5, they would charge. Uh, let's get, we got some exciting things kind of coming out for the PS5, including the controllers being able to sense your heart rate and maybe sweat even is being thrown around. <laughs> now, uh, I, I'd be curious to see how Meats' his heart rate goes in the playoffs <laughs> and stuff like that. So that'd be kind of cool. heart rate monitors, that would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, just didn't want to throw out the hype there for the PS5. Also, guys, start yeah. saving up as much as you can. 40, 50 bucks a month will get you it on launch, is what we're estimating. So, um, yeah, the, P the PS5, man, is going to be awesome. I, and I, I don't think they should be putting out no, a patent for that thing. I mean, doesn't, I mean, because my phone right now, I have one of those pads just throw yeah. it on top of it and it starts charging. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, you know how it is, though. They patent it and then the next iterate, whatever it is. So, yeah, yeah, somebody else takes it and want to try to make it a patent, whatever. Yeah. That, that technology has already been out here. So, as the heartbeat monitor, our phone's been doing this forever. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's exciting times for sure. Um, are you considering getting the Xbox, the new Xbox, or are you? Just yes, there? yes, I'm definitely going to get the newer Xbox when it comes out. I'm going to get the newer Xbox, and I'm going to get the new, uh, the new PlayStation. And and for all you guys that are worried about, you know, what, am I going to have a PlayStation in time? Am I going? Okay, we got to realize that uh, Madden's going to come out October to December. So, with that being said, that's about the same time the system is going to come out. So the system will release, I'm sure it's going to release with a Madden version. And we'll all be probably playing the, uh, still the PS4 version of Madden. Yeah. So we'll have time to continue playing, continue playing, and we'll be talking about, hey, you know, how many guys. And I'm sure we'll have some kind of threshold at which point so many guys get a uh, PS5 and then, you know, we'll start to make that transition. And for the guys that don't have it at that time, which... In the SML, I'm sure most of the guys in here can eventually, you know, be um, be um, thrif thriftful enough to eventually save up your money, get enough money in the bank, put some stuff to the side, even put it on layaway. They still have that. Go and pay on it. And mm -hmm. eventually that way we all can make the transition all together as a big family. Yeah, and uh, that's what we're aiming for. Once As we get closer to the time, kind of see the release dates and all that, we'll kind of be yeah. able to give a little more informative response, but just kind of be putting back for that. We hate to lose somebody. Uh, once again, yeah. no dates right now. It's hard to say for uh, anything too specific. Um, yeah, well, 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 Sony did say between October and December. Yeah, so holiday yeah. of 2020 is when they get when the yeah. system's coming out. So Yes. Um, moving on, though, are you... Are you a suspicious guy in terms of Madden? Do you not play certain kinds of music? Are you not doing certain things nah, before games? No, 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 no. No, I don't. And that could be probably why I lose sometimes. But no, I, I'm not. I'm not suspicious at all. I don't. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't have a routine. Which, like, okay, if you're shooting free throws or if you're a MLB player and you're, you're going through a routine, that that helps you. That that helps you get. Um, get your mind in the right place, you know? So I don't, I don't think that's a bad thing in any kind of way. Now, um, now if we're just talking about um, superstitions and, um, and how, and how that plays into your gameplay. That's one thing. But um, if I'm thinking like, okay, the computer is going to out to get me type thing. If I don't do this, then that, that's totally something different. And that's something that I don't uh, think is true. I believe in momentum, though. Because yeah. uh, you start screwing up in this game, man, it's going to make you screw up almost the whole game until you do something right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Speaking of momentum, we had a game. Last week, you had a prediction that you were going to beat me and uh, basically end my season. I predicted, yes. I predicted a 17-point uh, victory. Uh, I was wrong. I won by 24 but, points. What happened? But you saw doing that game, I was playing fine until what happened? You um, went for it on fourth down, and uh, you did yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fourth and inches on my side of the field, and I should have took the three points and kept the game close. And instead, I uh, went for it, got um, got stopped, completely changed the whole momentum of the game. Man, if you notice in, in Madden, a lot of times, if you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, or there's a big turnover. You got to watch that next second for that next first and second play of the other guy because those yeah. are usually the big money plays that happen. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, it's yeah, just that pendulum swinging. Um, yes. So yeah, that just kind of wanted to bring that up a little bit. Hey, uh, but you know, I beat Comcast the other night. I got a good quarterback. We played <laughs> competitive. We got his ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? If I get a good quarterback, watch out. Yeah, we'll see. Nope. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> You don't know. Look, when I had Drew Brees and I had uh, Tom Brady, I competed every year. I mean, yeah. I would be an eight and eight team. So that, let's not um, let's not forget about ZZ, man. Yeah. I mean, I might be sucking right now, and um, Mike called me the new scrubbo. That kind of pissed me off. So oh, wow, <laughs> the disrespect is the disrespect is real. Uh, we actually did. We played season one when you were uh, you had Drew Brees. It was a closer game. I won. I think I scored right at the end, but it was twenty five thirteen. So you were a little more competitive yes. with a better quarterback. Um, yes. So that's just something to throw out there. Obviously, players do yeah. make a difference. Um, final topic. I, oh, go on. Do you have something to say? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. And I've just been practicing a little bit more, and I've been I've been doing some things a lot more. Check down, getting rid of the ball a lot quicker. But my biggest problem is sacks. Man, I I screw up big time as far as sacks are concerned. So there you go. So, so I'm trying to fix that on the comeback. Uh, moving I'm on. It. Final uh, topic here <laughs> is uh, starting this starting next podcast. So seven days yes. from today, we're going to unveil our weekly uh, member of the week. So a member of the week is a guy who we want to give a shout out to. How are they playing in Madden? Do they have to win all their games at a particular week? Meaning the you know Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then that podcast. I, I, we'll take that into consideration, yes. but also like, what are you doing in chat? What are you doing for the league? Uh, how's your attitude been? We just kind of want to give them a highlight and I might throw out a bonus reward. You know, maybe we'll throw out 5 million in, uh, in funds to help out your uh, cap situation. You know, something a little small member of the week. Yes. We'll, we'll do it every seven days. Uh, what do you think about that? And uh, 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 that's, a, that's an excellent idea. It's, it's great to, to encourage guys to get involved in the league because, uh, that's what keeps our league going, and um, the the and, and it doesn't have to necessarily like like Prime said doesn't have to necessarily be the wins. I mean, we're gonna take that into account, but just chat attitude and then like I mean, like I've always said, like Woods um, for the Browns, he's one of our greatest. Um, I think members, yes, because I've never seen Woods get involved in any kind of real altercations. He always has something to you know good to say. He never he plays his games. He compliments. I don't think I've ever seen a complaint from Woods. Mm -mm. You know, in, in my DM about somebody else. You know, other right. than maybe somebody who's being a dick in chat, right, or something like that. But other than that, man, like you know, we have some really, really, really good guys in this. Uh, and there are other guys like this. You know, it's just it's just not Woods. And uh, I was just highlighting that one guy. And I think those guys need to be recognized and deserve some kind of some kind of accolade. Yeah, exactly. Like you said, there's something to be said about somebody who gets in, plays his games, hops in chat, and maybe has an upset win or maybe just kind of does his thing and he's just maybe hops on a podcast for somebody else or writes an, an article that week and he just kind of you can you want to you want to reward somebody for their extra efforts in the league without it being like a uh uh, too big of a reward at the same time. So, yeah, you know, yeah, to give some unfair advantage. We're not, we're, we're not going to do anything like that. So that's just something. <clears throat> once again, now I wanted to make it fair. So starting Sunday today until next podcast, this is your chance to be the first winner, and we're going to do it on a weekly basis. And it's going to be the SML member of the week, and they won't even know that they won until the podcast when we announce their name. So, yes. uh, so it'll be awesome. some exciting times, I think, ahead for the SML and another reason to tune in to SML Total Access to see if, hey, maybe you didn't even know it, but we're watching you and you did a good job. So, uh, yes. anyway. Yes. Just, 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 just look at it. Woods is, what, nine and four right now? Yes. Man, if, 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 it, if that was me and I had came back from where Woods was <laughs> a, few, a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. dude, I'd be dancing and, and, and chat, talking crap and all yeah. that. But Woods is being humble. He, mm -hmm. he, he's keeping his head down until he makes the playoffs. Yeah, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, well, it's, seriously though, you need to trip up, lose a few games for me. Uh, uh, <laughs> playoffs are better with me in it. We know it. So, so uh, hey, him, 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 my QB. Who, who does QB play this week? He plays Field General, then he plays uh, Grams, uh, and then Gov. Field is coming off a loss from me, so. Oof. 
So maybe Field will play Ingram. Field can, uh, he'll lose to the lowest of lows, and then, uh, no disrespect, and then yes. he'll beat the, <laughs> he'll, then, he'll, then he'll beat, the, <laughs> then he'll beat the highest of highs. You notice that? Like, he's yeah, yeah, very yeah. inconsistent. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you never know what you're going to get with him. So. Yeah. Uh, fine. All right. That was our podcast, guys. That is SML Total Access for around 20 minutes here. I'll let you sign us off. No, man. Just, um, oh, uh, FYI, I am no longer primer commissioner. I think my boy Mike is going to be the commissioner. Of course, uh, Prime's going to still be there. But Mike's pretty much running the show. If you guys want to get into primer, holler at Mike. That, that is the place to uh, get into the SML. Um, I have taken a uh, leave of absence and am only SML now because this is my home. I'm a one league guy. This is who I want to play. This is who I want to be. So it's good to be home, fellas. Look out for me in chat. I mean, I'm going back to the old VZ stuff. So let's get ready, man. Let's have a, a great time. Yes, let's get fired up. Once again, that was easy to great. I am Primetime000. This is SML Total Access, guys. You have a great day, and thanks for listening.